If you're thinking about buying a new home while trying to sell your current home, you might be asking yourself, which do I do first? In this crazy market that we're in right now, chances are you're going to sell your current home a lot quicker than what you anticipated. You might feel a bit pressured to find your new home or worry about making double house payments. So how do you make a smooth transition from the current house to the new? Well, today I'm going to give you four options to choose from, and we're starting right now. Hi, I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. Let's dive right in and let's talk about four choices that you may have when you're transitioning from your current house to the new with the least amount of stress. You could convert your current home into a rental property. Some homeowners choose to keep their current home and turn it into a rental property. If you're fortunate enough to have your down payment and closing costs for the new house in the bank, this could be a great option for you. Before making the choice to rent your home, ask yourself a few questions first. Like, would I make a good landlord? Does renting the house make good financial sense? Meaning, are you going to end up with the positive cash flow situation? Are there any tax consequences when renting versus selling? My advice would be to sit down with a tax professional before making this choice. If converting your current home into a rental makes good financial sense, please sit down with a seasoned realtor to discuss all your individual circumstances. Option two would be to buy your new home first, then sell your current home. This is the very best scenario. If you have the income to support two homes temporarily, this certainly would take the pressure off of having to move within a specific time frame. You could take your time moving from one house to the other. So once you've transitioned to the new house, it would just be a matter of selling the old house, which again, in this hot seller's market, that's a lot easier to do than it was finding your current home in this sparse inventory we have right now. Another great perk of buying the new house before selling the old house is that you'll be able to make a much stronger offer on the new house, mainly because you won't have that huge contingency of having to sell your home first. This definitely strengthens your offer in this competitive market. Option three would be to buy and sell concurrently. Most buyers need the proceeds of the sale of their current home in order to close on the new home. This is possible, but the situation has to be carefully orchestrated. The two most common methods to achieve this are sell contingent on finding your new home. Option two of this choice would be to sell than to rent back your current home while you're finding your replacement home. You have to have your buyer's cooperation in this scenario. You sell your home, but you rent it back from the new homeowners while you're finding your new home. In both of these scenarios, you can buy and sell while only moving one time. These are only the two most common options when trying to buy and sell at the same time. For more about buying and selling simultaneously, you want to watch my earlier video where I talk in detail about other options that may work beautifully for your family. And the fourth option is to sell first, then rent. Some homeowners choose to sell first, then rent another house temporarily, or maybe move in with family members in order to save a little bit more money for the new house. The drawback with this choice is that you have to move twice and you may have storage cost. The advantage is you'll be able to make an offer on the new house with no sale contingencies and be flexible with your timeline terms. If your family has outgrown your current home, you're relocating, or you're simply looking to make a change, sit down with a seasoned real estate professional to review your unique situation. Transitioning from your old house to the new house doesn't have to be stressful. It just needs to be planned and carefully orchestrated. I'm Lisa Kelly with Premier Realty. In the description below, you're going to find links to my new buyer and seller guides. I included everything you need to know to make smart decisions when buying and selling a house. Thank you for taking the time to be with me today. I hope you found today's video helpful. And if you did, take a sec and hit that subscribe button and the little red bell too to be notified when my next video is published. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.